So no, we've we've had the um, the walk around outside, and uh, what do you think of the looks? Uh, the looks are distinctive. I think that does that mean you don't like it? Well, I think that one nice crease line is good. Twenty is not necessarily twenty times as good. Have you been in politics at all? <laughs> uh, so uh, you're saying it's distinctive. Uh, what do you think of the back doors? I like that as a feature. The back doors with the uh, concealed uh, handles. Concealed handles is yeah. I, I think that again is very strong design. It's not just a simple handle that might have been on old Alphas. It's got some sort of graphic design yeah. around it as well. Because there's been a lot of um, concealed handle. Uh, sort of doors in the past. Now Honda have used it too. I, I think it, it's a, a nice little feature, and it adds to a coupe look. Well, it makes it that way. But then again, this handle stands out a bit. It's not as if it's hidden. It's got these sort of angles around it. So it's a little bit each way. Because we'd be very unlikely to find it otherwise. <laughs> Do you know? Can I tell you quickly a story? We had uh, uh, one of those. Uh, LCVs, I think it was one of the Colorados, and but it was not the full dual cab version. It was one that had kind of mini back doors. And I went to pick some friends up at the airport, and we didn't realise that the back doors actually opened. We, we <laughs> thought they were fixed, so they both of them got in through the front because <laughs> they didn't realise the back. Oh dear. Um, right. Well, again, that's an issue of not being used to a car. Uh, yeah, it's meant to make it look like a coupe. Yeah. That's not over important to me. Why. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, so well, I, I think if there's room in the market for a, a Nissan Duke, then perhaps there is uh, some of the design features of this, uh, perhaps not quite as extreme, but well, certainly. Well, do you think that the Duke doesn't sell very much, though, does it? Uh, no. No, no. but this is a Toyota, and this is, for heaven's sake, they finally got a small compact onto the market. Yeah. You know, a glaring uh, gap in their fleet yeah, yeah, for yeah, a long yeah. time. So we've we've got the distinctive looks. I particularly like the front. I think that looks smashing. I think that. Although you probably shouldn't say smashing in reference to cars. Uh, what do you think of the back? I th I think the back is. It's almost got a, a look to it, a bit like John Howard's eyebrows. You know, they sort of go and stand out and, and go up a little. Oh dear, oh dear. I, I, I think that's just a little too strong. Does for that my mean liking. it's going to be thrown into the gutter at the end of its term? <laughs> no. Well, we we no. can edit that bit out. Don't worry about that. <laughs> now, uh, so tell me about the engine. 1.2 litre turbocharged, 85 kilowatts and 185 newton metres of torque, which start, I get to the maximum at 1500 revs. That's pretty good. Uh, very impressive. Uh, 85 kilowatts, not a whole lot. No. How did you find that um, it, it performs? Oh, this is, it's, it's not, it's all right. Uh, you know, you're not buying this to chuck wheelies. So it's not going to give you an instant facelift, but it's adequate for... Uh, I'm, I'm comfortable with it. Uh, we could uh, do with an instant facelift. Well, I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind a bit of a... <laughs> I think we'd have to get in the Tesla for the need of... Well, indeed, we severity. were in the Tesla, and, and I remember the look on your face. <laughs> it looked like you were giving birth. Um, uh, transmission? Uh, a CVT, but it does have stepped functions, yeah. which of seven steps that you can get. It uh, does, and certain models have certain drive modes availability to them. I, so I, the step modes, that's just under hard acceleration, is that right? Uh, well, you can also manually do it. Right. If I move I the gearbox over to the right, so I'm now in second. Sure. Uh, now, do we have paddles? I uh, know. No steering wheel paddles? No. Okay. While we're on the steering wheel, do you want to tell me about the buttons? The buttons are, are pretty fundamental. Uh, we have a lever down the side for the cruise control. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, this one actually has things like uh, lane departure warning button to it, and uh, I can adjust the uh, 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 cruise control uh, to it as well. Trip. And of course, most of the things to do with the entertainment system. I say one thing, the voice actuated system 
drove me insane. Have you ever met one that works well except for Siri? Yeah, no. I, I, well, actually, I, you can't I even get you, Siri to work. <laughs> <laughs> technology. Uh, I found that I wanted to change... Uh, well, to A, first get the radio. Yeah. I was on Bluetooth because yes. I was listening to a podcast. Yes. I then wanted to change to radio. Uh, and words like radio and frequency, and, and I then wanted to change to from AM to FM yeah. or vice versa. Uh, it, it just it has this long pause before it says, no, I don't understand. So yeah. you, you say... You're better off just reaching over for the button. Oh, look, uh, it took me... Uh, 20 minutes yeah. of frustration as I was driving along without ever getting total resolution. Yeah. Now, well, look, I, 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 I find that with a lot of a lot of cars, drives me bananas. But one thing at least, you may not like this Toyota head unit, but at least it's relatively easy to use. Oh, yeah. It's clear. It's, it sticks out. Uh, like graphic designs on the outside of the car, it's certainly not the flat, you know, uh, uh, fascia sort of thing here. It has elements of angles and designs to it. Uh, uh, from your point of view, it's also got square edges. It does. Around I the... like all of that, but, but of course, David, they've fallen over at the final hurdle look. Ah, right. See? It's got a little bit of curvature It's not to the it. same on both oh, sides. it's square this side yes. and you see? curve that side. You see? Yeah. It's that designer. It's that designer that wants slapping. Now, I'll, I'll have to go back and totally rewrite my review. <laughs> because you said I liked it and I didn't. Um, do you feel that this head unit, though, is a, it's, it's company-wide on many, many of their models, many of the Toyota models. Do you feel that this is a bit of a default and that it is uh, not as good as it could be? Uh, I, I find I can use it fairly well. There's there's certain graphic things that uh, I struggle with a little, but uh, commonality across there, to some degree, I don't mind. I remember hopping out of a uh, a Prado into a Land Cruiser, and it was different. But uh, but most people that aren't us won't be doing that, so it won't make any difference. If you upgrade from one to the other, uh, I I actually don't get worked up. I'm, a, I'm the little guy that eats a meal and enjoys the flavour, but I also want nourishment out of it. Yeah. So I don't just want the looks of it or, or, you know, to be different for the looks of its sake. I like its function right, as well. Right. Uh, so seats, comfortable? Uh, not too bad. Uh, yeah, a, f a fair bit of uh, side support I like, and I think it works well. Uh, interior, I think, is rather good, although the rear window is a very small to look out yeah. of. But it is, it's got that coupe look on the outside, and so the trade-off, I think, for that is, you right. know, that, the, the, the back... You see, um, that's, that's flavour rather than sustenance. Yeah. Right. But do you think that, uh, I mean, most cars don't have people at the back? Oh, no. That, no, you look at a, any day of the week, 95% of the people driving along past you don't even have an extra person in the car. It's just the driver. Oh, yeah. There, there's no question of that. I will say, in driving it, too, it is very quiet. I had a colleague who owns a Suzuki Vitara, the little one, yeah. and uh, he got in this and said, oh, gee, it's quiet. Oh. Well, we yeah. know the Suzuki is a bit noisy, and yeah. he immediately notices it. It's comfortable to drive, easy to do, steering's, uh, you know, precise enough, light enough, really, for the sort of thing I want to drive it with, yeah. without driving hard with huge, great, you know, racing car feel. Uh, I, I must admit, I, I've just, we've driven into the sun, I want to make this point before we go back to Toyota. There's some um, sparkles in that piano black, which I hadn't previously noticed, look. Well, there you go. It's actually got glitter in it. This is this car's been Mardi Gras. It may surprise you. I actually didn't notice that. No, well, but you can even know. You know very, it looks like faint. It looks like it, but not when the sun's on it. Ah, that's a little bit of design for design's sake, which I quite like. Okay. Um, wrapping it up. Anything final? 
Oh, look, I think finally they're into the market. I think they're distinctive in its looks. It's solid Toyota, well-engineered. I think the engine and, and the drive of it is good enough. And, uh, well, not good enough sounds a, a compromise. It's the right sort of package, I think, for this sort of thing. But the looks of it are purely to your own taste. I'm getting from this you don't like the looks of it. Uh, I... I, are you being are you being diplomatic? Is that what you're doing? Well, you know, I can't say looks are right or wrong, but for me, uh, I just do find it a little bit too All graphic right. design. Uh, let me put it to you another way: If you saw her sitting across the other side of the room at the bar, would you want to pick her up? <laughs> now, a little bit of almost. Or would you have to be drunk first? A, a little bit of affectation about it, which I don't like, you know, as though... You're saying you, she's got no teeth? <laughs> no, <laughs> that she, she's sort of putting on a, a, a pose that... Uh, uh, putting on a pose that really is not necessary, that I, I like it for her character more than so she's the fact that she's, a, <laughs> that she's not tarted up. <laughs> uh, all right. Well, look, I, I tell you, I, 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 I like it. I think it's a nice thing. Um, and I think I agree with you. It's uh, filling a spot in Toyota that has been sadly, up until now, ignored, uh, if not neglected completely.